What's up fellow K-pop fans? I hope before you watch this that you watched my top 15 through 6 music videos of June because that's important too man you gotta go check that out first before you check out this video which is gonna be the top 5 to 1 of my music videos that I reviewed in June. You guys, I've put a lot of hard work into this and I hope that you guys appreciate it. Again, I ask of you to not take this list as a way to say one group is better than the other because it's not. Just support the one that you love and be happy that they made it on the list somewhere. Okay, so please don't, please don't do that. Let's just spread the love, you guys. It's all about love and just having fun and just appreciating this art and that's why I put it into a top 15. It was extremely hard for me to do this. I had 36 music videos that I had to check out and rate, and I rated every single one of them and wrote like essays on every single one of them. I'm actually thinking about creating a blog for this as well. So if you guys want a more detailed look into what I thought of the music videos or songs, I'm thinking that I'm going to be posting everything that I've written because I've worked really freaking hard on this, you guys. It took me basically a month to do this between researching some of the music videos and giving my own opinion, writing all the stuff up, getting all the information, getting all the pictures, getting everything ready to go, setting everything up. It's taken a month for me to do this project. Uh, and I plan on continuing to do it. I hope you guys really appreciate this. If you do, please give me a thumbs up. Please tell me in the comments what you thought of it. If you liked it, please just enjoy it and have fun with it. So let's get started started with number five. Coming in at number five is BTS with their music video for the song War of Hormone. I love this music video. I think it's absolutely killer. It's got black, white, and red. That's what's going on for color in this music video, and I think that's such a cool choice. I love the attitude that they express in this music video. Each one of the guys has their own persona, which is really cool. And the fact that they pretty much, it was all done in one shot, most of the music video till about the end, really, really badass. And had to have taken a long time to get it all right and get everyone in the right spots. The choreography is really, really cool, very precise, very nice. That rhymed. So right in the beginning, you know this is going to be a fun music video when the girl walks by and all the guys' mouths just drop to the floor. And then throughout the entire music video, they're just following the girl around like, oh, come on, man. You know, come on. You know, <laughs> it's totally relatable. It reminds me of me and my friends when we were younger. You know, you got those hormones going on. I mean, I guess I still got the hormones going on. You guys have seen me watch like some of these K-pop videos. <laughs> But whatever, man, it's just fun and I totally get it like lusting after a girl and you're fighting with your bros about it like you just <laughs> It's so much fun and so relatable and just it pokes fun at it and I love that about it Their dance moves look fantastic. They're super fluid and they're constantly in motion and constantly moving with the camera That's super cool and it has got to be extremely hard to do I'm not a dancer myself, but that just seems like it would make it even harder when you're not on a stage that's I mean, they're basically on a stage that's moving because they're moving along with the camera, which represents them following the girl, which is really cool. But that's got to be hard, man. It's like, could you imagine trying to dance on a treadmill? I mean, that's kind of like what they're doing. And I, I really appreciate that, man. That's hard work and very, very cool that they did that. So as I said earlier, all these guys have their own unique personas and styles going on in this music video, which I really love. They kind of, it, it seems like they're my friends, right? Each one of us had their own thing going on, whether like they were geeky or try to be the cool guy or whatever. That's totally what they're doing in this. So for instance, V just looks like a badass with his leather jacket and his lollipop in his mouth. I know that's kind of contradictory, badass with a lollipop but he does <laughs> Rapmon looks like he's a gangster about to go to prom interesting combo there but i get it i feel like a lot of guys in my high school dress like that Jong Gook is almost like an emo goth dressing kind of look which is how i used to dress back in high school i actually have the exact same shirt kind of ish that he was wearing i'm sure his is probably like a, a fancy brand or something but the red and black striped one yeah i had that shirt and i wore it all the time and i thought it was so damn cool with that thing on so i can relate to that i think it's funny in my opinion this video really captures like what it's like to be a teenager i think it can apply to girls and guys 
this. But for me, I can get the guy aspect of it, of just, you know, you're going through hormones, you're going through changes, you're going through wanting to dress a certain way, or you're going through like trying to fit in, or like, like I said earlier, a bunch of your friends might like one guy or like one girl or whatever it is. It's just fun. And I like the fact that they're commenting on that. It's something that every one of us goes through. And I just think that's so cool. So like I said earlier, also the dance kills me. It has so much attitude and yet grace to it. And I love that about it. Really cool dance. And I've always said this about BTS. They have such great choreography. They have hidden messages throughout this. Not like super crazy messages, but they do have little hidden messages throughout this. Anyone who's a part of the army might know what I'm talking about about that. But for like a small little thing, for instance, like BTS is like spray painted everywhere in this music video. Like there's either signs everywhere or bang tan boys. Am I saying that correctly? Probably not. I don't think I can say it correctly. I think it's bang tan. Bang tan? Bang tan. Bang tan. <laughs> Anyways, you guys, I think it's really cool to do stuff like that. They take the time to put things in the background for us to find. I think that's awesome. Love these guys, love this music video, and that's why it came in at number five. With that being said, let's move on, holy shit, to number four. So coming in at number four is one of my favorites. Octom Musician with their music video for the song, How People Move. I'm not sure how many people actually realize how much this music video relates to the lyrics for this song, but it really, really does a lot. And that's really, really cool to me. Not only does the music video relate to it, but so does the choreography. And I'll get into that later on in this explanation. The bright, fun, playful colors that are used in this music video give it such a whimsical feel. And I love that about it. I love that about it. Soo Hyun's smile is so friggin' powerful. Like the instant that she smiles, she just lightens up the mood of the entire music video and just makes it even more happy feeling than it already is especially during the choreography you can tell she's having so much fun i love that her smile is not fake at all you know she's having a blast doing this she is having so much fun doing this music video so another interesting thing that brings some nostalgia to me and i love nostalgia is this music video reminds me of two movies that i used to watch when i was a child uh, one of those movies being the movie called toys which stars robin williams and ll cool j yes that's right the rapper ll cool j if you guys haven't seen this movie it's a really interesting very artsy movie it's kind of a comedy the whole movie takes place inside of a toy factory the color scheme of the movie is so much like this music video it's crazy like you could put them side by side and mix things in together and they would look great the other movie that this music video reminds me of is called Toyland which starred Drew Barrymore a very young Drew Barrymore uh, it starts off with Drew Barrymore getting into a car crash and then she's transported to this magical world of toys where all these toys are alive and they can interact with you and stuff and then basically the premise is these evil people who don't want the toys to live or Toyland they hate it because it's too happy they want to take over Toyland and ruin it again the colors the toys the interaction with the toys and stuff it just reminds me of the concept for this music video and I love that so something else I want to talk about this music video that I really love is the camera work fantastic camera work now I'm not like a professional at camera work in fact I'm not even that great at it but I really appreciate the art and how much technique and skill it takes to be good at using a camera then they show that off in this music video for instance in the dance they move along with them while they're dancing it's very cool and it creates an aspect like when they're doing this and stuff like the camera moves up and down with them really cool technique and a cool thing to do not only that but they have the camera on the track and you can tell it's going like back and forth and i love the fact that the two follow the camera with their faces it's it's a really cool technique and i like it a lot their choreography honestly also fits like with the music video, with the song, they look like they're toys dancing. And I love that about it. And they're so like stiff, but really smooth at the same time. And I like the fact that they did that. It's almost like they put a little bit of the robot in their choreography. Not only that, but it also, for instance, the lyrics, they're talking about how cool it looks when people breathe. You can see their ribs move. And when they're saying that, they're going like this in the choreography. It's so cool. And that's such a cute dance move. I love it. Finally, I just want to say with Octa Musician and any of their music videos, I love how you can really see that the two of them, the brothers, and they're brothers and sisters, if you didn't know. And they have such a close personal relationship with each other. And I love that. And it just shines in their music videos, just like this one. It really, really shows how close they are. And I think that's so cool. And that's why it came in at number four. Whew, I'm dying, you guys. Let's move on to number three. Okay, you guys, so now we're moving on to number three. But there's an interesting thing going on here. 
We've got a tie. It's the first time that I've had to deal with this, but I decided, you know what? I'm gonna keep them as a tie. So coming in at number three is Vix with their music video for the song Shangri-La and BAP for their music video for the song Wake Me Up. I'm gonna start off with Shangri-La by Vix and then I'm gonna do BAP's Wake Me Up. Not for any reason, I'm just doing it in that order, but not for like, oh, this one's better than that one. It's not anything like that. They're tied for number three. So Shangri-La, the sets, the colors, the effects, the wardrobe, the fans, the choreography, everything in this music video, I really, really love a lot, man. Really just such an awesome, amazing music video. The choreography is absolutely fantastic with the fans, what a unique idea and concept to do and I absolutely love it these guys nail it with that choreography it's so good especially when they're dancing on top of the water that looks so cool man it, I just love the feeling that you get watching that I think it's really magical and, and powerful you know and there's like a struggle going on with the water and their dance movements I love that. I really, really love it a lot. So the use of the fans, it gives the dance like this fluid, beautiful, I don't know, smoothness to their dancing. Even though their dancing is very powerful, the fans, it, it gives it this different feeling to the dance. And I love that about it. You know, it's such a unique thing to do. And I think it's really cool. Very beautiful. The vibrant and dark colors used inside this music video are so pleasant to the eyes. And they just like, there's so many different colors going on in this. And I love that about it. Like the yellows, the purples, the blues, the pinks, the, there's so many different colors going on. It, it's really beautiful. It's very, very beautiful. I also love during some of their choreography, there's many different scenes with their choreography, which is really cool, but some of it, is totally only backlit so they're like silhouettes they're shadows you can't see them at all you just see the background and they're totally black while they're dancing that's a cool effect i like that a lot so another awesome use of effects is the smoke while n is dancing he's dancing he's doing this really powerful it's almost like he's doing this powerful tai chi movements along with like the smoke and stuff. Oh my God, it's so it's so gorgeous the way that he does that. It really is, it's powerful, very powerful imagery. I love that. You see Ravi at one point, there's yellow lighting surrounding him and it gives like a sunrise sunset kind of feel to it. And I love that imagery as well, man. Like, like I said earlier, the visuals are so pleasant to the eyes in this music video. It's very rare to see a music video where every single scene is something new for your eyes to taste, you know, and it's just, it's breathtaking. It's really cool. So there are so many things I could say about this music video, but I want to finish up with saying there is this fullness and at the same time emptiness going on in this music video with the lighting, with the sets, especially most of the time, the sets are set up in this empty room totally empty but then they have this really complicated set of all these plants or like i said earlier like a japanese style it's really interesting the use of the water the water is very powerful but it's in an empty room great imagery i love love this music video so much that's why it came in at number three but tied with that is bap's wake me up so let's dive into that okay so there is an extremely important message try, that they're trying to get across in this music video. First, let me go over the setting because there's a lot I want to talk about the message. And that's why I gave this such a high rating. It's got a very dark feel to it. Um, there's a lot of hidden messages in this music video between the time 11 and the rose. You see the roses a lot. You see uh, emotion revolution. You see all these things a lot. But you also see all these people struggling. You see the color is very dark. Um, and I, I really like that about it. It's a very artistic music video and it's, it's, it's a lot. There's a lot going on in this. So let me dive into it. In this music video, they touch upon so many different social issues that are so important and are not talked about enough. So I think it's really damn cool that BAP is taking a stand and saying, we need to get this information out there very powerful and very cool of them to do. I personally feel like anxiety, depression, addiction, eating disorders, panic disorders, all these things and more are being talked about in this music video. Yes, there's a lot of different meetings going on, but those meetings are really touched on a lot. And the thing is, is they're being represented by so many different types of people. By types of people, I mean different colors, different religion, different gender, different, different everything. Because the thing is, and what they're pointing out in this, is it doesn't matter who you are, where you're from, what you do, you can suffer from any of these things. And people do, like there's so many people that suffer with all these problems and they're too afraid to speak out about it. 
or when they do speak out about it, people don't believe them or people don't want to help them. And it's so unfortunate. And that's something that they're really, really stressing in this music video. Okay, so Jasper's eating, but that's okay. We're going to keep going. Hopefully you can hear him because it's really cute. With all of that stuff going on, there's also a lot of referencing to the movie and the actual true story of V for Vendetta, which has a lot of placement of the rose or the time, the revolution, Viva La Revolution, all that stuff is kind of incorporated in this music video, which is a really cool concept as well. And a very important thing to involve with all those issues. The meaning of the rose can be many different things, but most of the time, like for V for Vendetta, what he meant by that rose is to give hope, to express sorrow, to express love, to express regret. All those things are being expressed with the rose. Now, I don't, I don't wanna get like super into detail with it, but you can look it up. Um, there's a lot of information on why roses could be used and why that specific person used the rose during that time. So the constant appearance of emotion revolution is super important. And I think it has two different meanings. One is that we need to make it more known that these problems really exist because unfortunately, even though it has improved, many countries are starting to accept like, okay, this is a problem. There's still so many people that don't accept it. And it blows my mind. And I'm sure it blows their mind too, man, because there's scientific proof of all this stuff. And this has been going on since the dawn of time. This has been going on forever. And unfortunately, it's just now starting to be accepted and talked about. So when, it, when they're talking about emotion revolution, we need to revolutionize the concept that this stuff doesn't exist. We need to make it known that yes, anxiety, depression, addiction, all these things are very real. And like for addiction, people think drugs, alcohol, that's the only thing you can be addicted to. That's the only, bullshit, man. You can be addicted to anything, food, uh, technology. It can, the list can go on forever. Addiction is a very serious thing. And the thing is, is like, okay, all of these horrible things that people deal with can combine with each other and snowball effect, right? So it's an important message. And that's part of what needs to get out about the revolution. The other part of it is the people that suffer with those problems, don't be afraid to tell someone. Don't be afraid to get help. Don't be afraid to speak out about it. There's two different meanings with that. So it's going to take work on both ends. The people that are suffering with those problems need to come out and say something about it need to make it known, need to fight for the information to get out there and for the people to act, for the people that don't agree with that or don't think it's real, they need to open up their minds. And the only way that's gonna happen is if we, the people that believe in that thing, are gonna speak out about it and drill it into their heads. That's the only way. And that's what Emotion Revolution is about in my eyes. So another thing I wanna point out in this music video is the fact that in Emotion Revolution, love is spelled backwards. Really cool little fact there. I noticed that like that. I noticed it really damn quick. Might be my dyslexia, but I think it's just because I'm a really focused person and I think, <laughs> but okay. So what I think about that is I think in order for this stuff to happen, we need to love. Can't just be about information. Just spreading information is not enough to get the word across. It's not enough to get your point across, unfortunately. Sometimes you can have 100% facts, people still won't believe it. So what we gotta do is also spread love. We gotta open up our minds. We gotta open up our hearts to the people that are suffering with these problems and to the people that don't believe in these things. They need to open up their hearts and we need to open up their heart, our hearts to them. So spread the love and love yourself. That's another big problem too, is people not loving themselves. And that's another issue that we got to talk about. That's another issue that people need more information on and need to be op more open-minded about. Uh, so I think loving yourself and loving people is a, is a very important thing. And I love the fact that they're trying to spread that message because I think it's a super important message. I think it's also important, the love aspect of the revolution. It's okay to be emotional. There's also like this stigma that it's not okay, especially for men. I'm just saying, uh, it's funny because women have tons of issues totally like going on where they have to deal with so many things. Uh, men do too. And there's this stigma that guys can't cry. If you don't cry, if you cry, you're not a man. If you are emotional, you're not a man. You're a pussy or you're this or that. Like I work with people that think that way and it drives me insane. You know what I mean? Like it's not a way to think. And I'm sorry to get preachy on you guys, but this is what I'm taking from this music video. And I think it's a very important message. I think the most powerful 
powerful thing about this music video is its message. And I think it's a really important message that needs to be spread. But what I'm trying to say here is there's even stigmas for people who believe in these issues. So in the music video, it shows a woman who is possibly, she has appearance issues where she's like smearing makeup on her face and breaking the mirror and she just hates herself, right? But okay, so there's even people who like, oh yes, it's a very terrible thing that women have to go through, right? Not men, but women. It's interesting. It can happen to anybody. Men can suffer with that issue, and they do. Men suffer with uh, anorexia. Men suffer with uh, appearance issues and hating the way that they look. Man, there's times where I look in the mirror and I'm like, fuck, dude, I wish my hair was better. Or, you know, so <laughs> even the people that are accepting of these issues still need to work on some things and open up their minds even more to the possibility, okay, really, anybody can suffer with these issues. Sorry for talking so much about that, you guys. I just think it's a very important thing to talk about. And I think that that's what BAP is trying to get across. We need to be open about this stuff. We need to talk about it. We need to love one another and just open your minds, open your hearts. So I wanna talk about the actors really quick and then I'll be done with this. I talked more about this than probably any other music video. But again, I just think it's an important thing to talk about. I tried talking my fastest so that way we could get through it. Let me talk about the actors. The actors did a fantastic job. Again, they picked people from all races and genders and everything and I think that's really cool. One of the things that stands out to me the most in this, even though they're all talking about different issues, is the guy who seems like he's playing to an orchestra, like he's listening to really beautiful music with a smile on his face and his eyes closed, and gunshots are coming out of his hands, killing the people around him, but he still has a huge smile on his face. Whoa. <laughs> Super powerful imagery, really deep meaning there, great uh, graphics, and it just looks super realistic and just... I don't know, man. It's creepy. It's beautiful. It's so many things. As you can see, I could talk about this music video forever. There's so much that I haven't touched on that this music video has in it. So I implore you guys to go out and watch that music video. Take, you know, things from it that I haven't already said. There's a lot that you can take from it. I love you guys. Anyways, with all that being said, <laughs> that's why they were tied at number three. Well, let's move on to number two. So coming in at number two is Twice with their music video for the song T.E.T. -E Just like T.E.T. -E <laughs> Sorry, I get cutesy with that because it's really cute and I love it. So right from the beginning, you have these two really cute little kids in the Halloween outfits. Da -da 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 -da, and they're knocking on the awesome haunted house. It's cute. It's creepy. It's got that scary Disney vibe to it. And I love that about it. And then they enter the house and you have the beautiful Twice girls coming up, popping up one by one with their, their snapping, dancing choreography thing and the huge smiles on their face. I love it. And I am instantly, insanely jealous of those kids. And I wish to God that I was trick-or-treating on that night and knocking on that haunted house because I swear to God, that seems like the coolest Halloween party of all time. I'm just saying. One thing that I really, really appreciate about this music video is the fact that the choreography is part of the story. Like, the choreography is pretty much through the entire music video, but there's also a story going on in the music video. So that's a really cool concept, and I love that they were able to do that. So I want to talk about the camera work because it is so good. So when the girls bounce up and down, the camera bounces up and down with them. It seems like the mansion is moving or like you're moving around with them. It's so cool. I love how they did that. Not only did they do that with the bouncing, but also when the girls go baby, 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 when they're doing that dance move, the camera goes side to side with them. It's so cool. What an awesome idea. It's almost like the camera or you who is watching this happening is moving along with their dance movements with the choreography. It is such a cool idea. The setting of the music video and the camera work gives it a magical yet creepy cutesy side to it which is really cool and just has a really nice atmosphere to the music video i also am a huge fan of halloween so this won me over i've always been a huge fan of halloween and this screams older like almost from like the 70s halloween feel to it it's got that like retro halloween setup and the ma the mansion that they're in looks fantastic all the settings that the girls the different settings that the girls take place in look really great it looks like something disney would make disney put so much hard work into like disney world and has all these fantastic setups that's what it reminds me of it reminds me of something that you would go to disney world and see it looks like they put a lot of hard work and effort into all the different scenes into the settings i love it another thing that i am totally a sucker for is superpowers 
I've always wanted superpowers since I was a little kid, man. I grew up watching Dragon Ball Z and I always wanted those powers. And these girls always have superpowers of some kind in their music videos. <sighs> so I'm jealous of them for that too. Let me go over some of the powers and some of the unique characteristics that they have. Mina is a pirate in a painting and it looks so cool man it's really really cool and again she has that really statuesque kind of she's very um calm with her facial expressions and very just like la -da 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 -da. and it fits really cool in the painting i love that about it Tsu has a really sexy kind of cool dark goth vibe going on and she's walking down the hallway of the mansion and the, the walls are like going like this and stuff and she's got all these like witchy powers and shit that's very cool. I also love that in the choreography, you see the girls in their normal wear, but then they like disappear very quickly and come back very quickly in their costumes, perfectly in place where the choreography is taking place. So they're right on the right on target. Really cool. So Sana has a really cool, very cute, like superhero thing going on. And the background looks fantastic. It looks like it's out of a comic book or something like out of a Batman comic book. It looks really cool. And the lightning, I, I love it. It's got such a cute Halloween feel to it. So I also love that some of the time when they're showing the choreography for the TET, they're inside of this jack-o'-lantern and it looks like it's from like the 60s or 70s. It's got a very retro vibe to it. I love like older Halloween scary movies and stuff. And that's what it reminds me of. Let me comment on one more of the awesome. I could comment on all of them, but I'm only going to do one more. Jong Yon is the girl version of Pinocchio and it's creepy as hell. But gosh darn, it had to take so much skill to do what she did. She legitimately looks like a puppet with all her movements and stuff. She did a fantastic job at that. Really, you guys, look back at that. It looks like they used like some kind of like computer animation to do it, but they didn't. She did it herself. That's her choreography. Looks so cool. I absolutely love that. So I also love the fact that this is a continuation of the story from the music video, Knock Knock. I love stuff like that. I think it's really cool. And you guys keep in mind, just because this doesn't have a super deep meaning to it, it still has a really cool story, awesome settings, great choreography, matches the songs perfectly. I mean, it's really great. And yes, it's not super serious, but it's fun. And that's why it came in at number two. With all that being said, we are finally moving on to number one. I can't believe it's the end, you guys. This took forever. Had to have taken a couple hours just to record this. Let's move on to number one. All right, you guys. So we are on to number one, man. Whew. This took forever. <laughs> and uh, this choice was really, really hard to make. Uh, the rating was super hard. But coming in at number one is BTS with their music video for the song Blood, Sweat, and Tears. This music video is so complicated, you guys. And there is so much going on to it, but I love it. And I don't understand every single thing that's going on. But there's this, like, struggle of good and evil. Jin's in the middle of it. J-Hope and Jimin are, like, trying to save him, but they can't. And V is evil as hell, and I'll never look at V the same way ever again. Something that's really cool about this music video is that it calls back to the Wings short films. The apple, the lily flowers, the paintings, the colors across the paintings, splattered across the paintings, the inverted weird color scheme uh, from J-Hope's uh, wings. There's just so much going on in this and so much recall and so many different messages. And I absolutely love it without knowing the messages. I love the colors. I love the choreography is absolutely fantastic. There's so much awesome movement and use of like speed and stopping and so many things going on with the choreography for this. The guys look great. Their outfit choices are fantastic. And even, I feel like even their outfits have meanings in different ways, which is really cool. I've been trying to decipher this and I've been watching it like kind of over and over again. I feel like J-Hope's a good guy. I feel like Jimin is a good guy. I feel like V's a bad guy, definitely. I think he's the worst out of them all. I think he's really bad. I think he's a devil, man. He got his wings taken away from him and there's like this whole concept if an angel loses its wings it goes to hell like it's a bad it's a demon he's a demon he's not a devil he's a demon you're trying to get Jin to come to the dark side and i think what happens at the end of the music video is unfortunately Jin does go to the dark side v covers his eyes and and it blocks him from seeing what's really going on and he goes and he kisses what might be the devil or like accepting the evil or whatever it is 
And then we see Jimin take off his blindfold and he's crying. And then uh, J-Hope looks like he's so upset when the fountains are going off and stuff. Uh, whew, there is just so much going on in this music video. I had to make this number one. I had to because there's a lot of emotion in it, a lot of thought, awesome, brilliant colors going on, great choreography. And like I said, I don't understand. I understand that there's some evil and good and kind of like trying to find like either. It's like Jin is in the middle ground of those two things and he eventually goes to the evil side, which is really crazy, man. Uh, the imagery in this is fantastic. They worked really hard on the imagery in this. The the graphics are really great. I love the callbacks to the wings. I really loved the wings series. If you guys haven't checked out my reviews of all of the different short films, part of those the wings series, you should definitely check those out after this because um, they're brilliant. They're really good. Even if you don't check out my reviews, check out the check out the things themselves because they're really damn good and they have a lot of meaning to them. And you can see a lot of that meaning within this music video. I also think that the music lines up perfectly. I love the little interlude while uh, Suga's playing the organ. Uh, <laughs> but it's very, very good music video. I love it a lot. And uh, that's why I chose it to be number one. I still don't know everything that's going on in this. If anybody does, that's crazy. I, I had never read the book, so I don't know exactly like the, all the references or anything like that. But I hope that you guys liked this top 15 and enjoyed listening to everything I had to say about all of it. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Leave me some love in the comments. And uh, yeah, you guys, I love you. Thank you so much for sticking around and listening to me talk about all this stuff. And uh, I hope you guys had a good time. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.